Hey guys, welcome back to No Man's Sky. Today I'm back in the action once again because I'm going to be continuing on with uh, our little series where... Can you leave me alone? I'm trying to I'm trying to make a video intro here, okay? So earlier in the week, we made a video about exotic ships and where to find rare exotic ships. And I showed you all the different cords and stuff. I was originally going to make that video a very long video where I showed not only exotic ships, but also other ships as well. I decided I was going to split that into two. And so today is a continuation of that video where I show you all of these other ships that I found. Fighters and haulers and really cool, awesome things. And I really hope you guys enjoy this video. But before we do that, though, somebody posed an interesting thought to me and that was digging to the center of the earth now i've never done that before and i don't know if you've ever done that or even thought about doing it i know i've never thought about doing that and so i'm going to do that before we get into it uh but before we get into those things both of those things let me just say thank you for all the support that you guys have been leaving on the channel thank you for everything that you've been doing lately you guys are freaking awesome and i really appreciate it also remember we have a discord server that you are welcome to join if you're interested in that people are always leaving coordinates and tips and helping people out and stuff it's a really friendly community and the guys over there are awesome and i appreciate all you guys so let's go ahead and let's dig to the center of the earth shall we all right let's let's get our train manipulator out here okay so i'm gonna dig kind of at an angle here and just see what happens like is the planet gonna like implode on me or what can i mean can you actually go th to the core of the planet or go like through th no there's no way you can go through the planet what? What? This, you can't dig any further than this? Wait, what the heck? It's just some like solid mass? Man, that's lame. Uh, I wonder, can we... Oh, uh, it's just like a... Oh, so the planet is just like a solid ball and then they put terrain on top. That's pretty lame, man. At least we can... S Got freaking pineapples everywhere. That would be really cool, because think about, like, having, like, a, a subterranean base, you know? Like, having a base in the center of the earth or something. They really should do that. I mean, I feel like that's probably gonna, like... You'd have to change the game dramatically. But that's... That's lame. It's not even that deep. Well, that was really anticlimactic. I thought that that would be a lot cooler than that. <laughs> I'm sorry for wasting your time. All right, let's go find some sweet ships. Look at that thing floating around here just in the in the air like that. The heck, man, where are you landing? It's landing over there. It just landed over there. Well, okay, so guys, I'm, in, I'm currently in the system uh, where my home base is. And if you haven't seen my base before, uh, you are welcome to go and check out the last video where we talked about... Uh, where I showed you my base. Dude, look at that. Just sitting here. Just sitting in these this area. Sweet. Alright, let's let me show you some of these uh, awesome fighters and haulers and stuff that I found. Let's get into it. Alright, the first system that we're in. We are on the hunt for a legendary all white fighter and it looks so sweet and uh, guys I scour reddit all day long trying to find cool different things for you guys and uh, I am always on the lookout for new interesting looking fighters people are posting things constantly in the discord uh, somebody's found a really sweet looking blue and white like blue and white and red different type of fighter it, it, the cool thing with fighters is it is that when you get an s class version of one like you get these paneling on the side it makes it look like beefier it just looks really awesome and so we're in this system we're on the hunt for a white out fighter i'm calling it white out it's all white it looks so sweet and i am going before we leave i will find this so you guys can see it okay i'm not going to throw up pictures this time around i'm actually going to try to find every single ship that is in today's video and so i will stay here as long as i need to for you guys to so you can see what it looks like all right so I'm going to go down here, I'm going to throw down the cords so you guys can see where we're at. Uh, all the cords will be displayed via, like, the the uh, signal booster. And guys, if you are new to, like, these types of videos, you need to use No Man's No Man Connect to uh, view it. I made a video just recently on that, and uh, you guys can, you can teleport to a specific location, essentially. And then not only that, 
but if you are using glyphs you can go to a portal and you can tell you can convert these chords into glyphs and so look for that as well holy smokes dude wait what wait what wait what wait, what, what, what? we got a uh a sweet exotic we got two exotics that landed right next to each other <gasps> it's beautiful it's an all white dude this is the good thing about this is the great thing about um oh i forgot i have more exotics on what the heck never mind uh more exotics makes the probability increase and actually exotics that aren't here will show up so forget any exotics you see i totally forgot about that but look at this thing this is what i love about doing these videos is that i see uh I see like different stuff that I've never seen before. I might lower the chance of the exotics so that we don't have them popping up all the time, just just for the video, just for the sake of the video. All right, so here these are the uh, these are the chords right here. Uh, coding these chords, and this is, should be where the all white fighter is. Okay, and so let's go ahead and let's just look. Okay, I took off uh, I took off more exotics, so this is an exotic that is here. Okay, I took it off, and this is one that's here. That is sweet! It's white and orange, or it's like a silver and orange. Look at this beautiful thing. Why do I bring my hauler when I'm doing these? Why don't I... <laughs> why don't, When I'm doing these videos, why do I bring my hauler? I should, get, I should bring something I don't want so I can buy something like that. Uh, okay, so let's see. Do we have anything up here? I'm gonna just check before we kind of back out just to make sure that there isn't oh it's not letting me pull this um, okay I'm gonna have to just kind of wait and see what shows up oh man I'm pretty sure there's an S version of everything and so this is a dude this is a sweet paint scheme man we also have like a Star Fox theme one that uh, and a Boba Fett theme one that I hopefully I can find actually no the Boba Fett one I could not get chords for unfortunately but there is like a Star Fox looking one that looks really cool. But this is this is a nice foe of the no Joes. No Jose. <laughs> foe of the no Jose, guys. Uh, we're looking for little tiny. We're looking for kind of little tiny wings. One with little wings. Uh, but man, there's some really cool looking fighters here. That's for sure. Oh, this is it right here. This is the version. Uh, this is in A3711. It's kind of, it doesn't look white. It looks yellow. This is the one right here. Look at that, dude. That is awesome. Okay, Mother of the Ab the Mother of the Abyss is the name of the ship. That's awesome. Oh, it's kind of uh. Whoa, no, 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 no. Hold on. It's kind of tan, actually. It's not all white. Who said it was all white? Dude, the Mother of the Abyss. Yeah, it's kind of tan in the middle, but. Yeah, so there you go. This is the this is it right here. There's an S version of this. It's a 3812, I think, that will potentially show up. So uh, if you like the look of this fighter, it's pretty much all white. I would just say, I mean, it's got a little tan on it, but yeah, that's it right there. Well, I just came to a new system in search of an all black fighter. There's a blackout fighter and a whiteout one, uh, but I found this thing, the Shield of Jeopardy. It's not a it's not an S class. Um, but I'm assuming that there can be a version of this in S-Class because usually these types of specific types of ships that look like this, there's an S-Class of this, and this is like a yellow and red one. Uh, so that, that's pretty cool. That's there. So we got, uh, let's see, what else do we have here? Anything else worth noting right away? Let me go ahead and just throw down the cord so you guys can see where this is real fast. Uh, I have to be very careful. You guys have no idea how many times I've blown myself up with the stupid plasma launcher because I hit right, because I right click way too fast. I'm so impatient and so I just do so fast. Uh, so there are the courts. He said there's a black out fighter here. We're looking for an all black fighter. And oh my gosh, H how many times have I done this in videos where I forget to pick up my beacon? Happens all the time. All the time. The Son of Light. I don't believe that this is it. I don't have the image that goes along with this, so I don't know what it, I don't know what it looks like. Because um, this is yellow; it's not black. 
It's a yellow version of that. Um, I don't know. I don't. I don't know what I'm looking for, to be honest. But I know that there's a black one here. Okay, I take it back. That was not the one. There is a way cooler one. It looks very similar to this, I think. But it's like black and it's got green lights, I think. Yeah, this is the exact. I'm looking at right now. This is the exact wing shape. I took a screenshot, but people take like kind of bad pictures sometimes, and so I'm left going off. But this is the exact wing shape, and it's black. Okay, we are in a Gek promising system, and this system has the ship from the concept art the uh like the figurine have you ever seen that it's a little tiny like orange and black fighter now i don't know if it's a s class here or not but we are going to just look and see what we can find now if you ever come into a uh, coordinates and you're inside the space station and you're like holy crap how the heck do i get out um it can be a little scary at first but if you fly around all the way around the edge until you get to the uh, kind of the entrance to the blue little area it will suck you in and uh, you'll be able to like you know kind of go down the uh, chute of the space station it's just kind of takes a little bit of time to kind of like work your way over there sometimes all right so here are the cores of this location uh it looks a little this system's name is different from what was posted online so i hope this is uh, this is the right chords though so the name is different though i'm not too, entirely sure why so these are the chords and this like i said i don't know if there's an s-class version of this ship i just know that this is like the concept art little figurine ship and so we're gonna see if we can find it i don't think that's it it's like orange and black it's got some some nice like fins and stuff this though i think it, if there's a ship if a if a if you see yeah a thirty eight twelve if you see a ship with these like platings on the side i think generally that means that there's an s class version of this specific type of ship i think there's like uh there's very similar styles for some of the s class ones wait is that it um i this may be it actually i think this is it is this it? Yeah, I think this is it. Yep, just confirmed. This is the ship right here. Uh, no idea if there's an S-Class version of this. It's uh, C-1612 Fusilti's Infinite Calculator. <laughs> it's kind of a lame name. Uh, but yeah, this is. I think this is the figurine one. That looks very, very similar. So yeah, that is uh, if you're kind of on the hunt for something kind of legendary and, you know, obviously pretty rare, this is where you can get it right here. That's pretty cool. Is that another one coming in? I also saw this one that looks very unique and different. It's got this really long pointy nose, but uh, I know I've seen it before. Yeah, this is it too. C-17-3. Yeah, so I don't, I don't know if there's an S-Class version of this. I mean, you could take your chances and see for yourself. I, I'm assuming that there might not be because it's not like the greatest system, but yeah, this is where you get it. All right, so the system that we just came to has a red squid ship. And I have no idea if this is going to work, but if you remember when we did the guaranteed squid ship video and it was like a white squid ship that came in like no matter what, what we had to do was we got out of our ship and then we reloaded the save like right away. It's a wealthy system. Let's just reload the autosave and let's see if it comes because the white one came and somebody was telling me that if there's a squid ship in a specific system, then it's like pre-programmed to come and like five they have five to 15 minute intervals or something like that i can't remember what they said but uh let's see if it comes here just like the white one did this would be so cool if it does because then if we know the if you know the system like where it is and you know it has a squid ship maybe you can get it to show up like pretty much all the time but i'm thinking that it's not going to because before it was the first one that came and it was the only one that came and so maybe it's not going to work on this one it worked in the white one, but maybe it's not gonna for the white one, but maybe it's not gonna work for this one. Yeah, I don't I don't see a squid ship. I don't see a squid. Wait, what's that? Nope. No, there it is right there. Isn't that it? Isn't that a squid? No, it has the same look to it. It's one of those little explorer things, the little dumb ones. Alright, let's we're gonna have to go do this the hard way. I'm gonna have to do this the hard way, I guess. Let me just check this ship right back here before we go. Because it's a. The Defeat of the Moon. It's a green and red one. So there's an S version of this I can spawn here. 
Sweet, that's kind of cool looking. Green and red Christmas colors. You want a Christmas theme one? All right, so here are the specific cords you want to come to uh, to get the red squid ship. I also have a, a cord for a green one that I'll show you as well. But this is for the red squid ship, which, oh, no, my luck might take forever to come. Uh, because every time I do this looking for a squid, other than that guaranteed white one, it takes forever. Yo, check it out. Here's an S. Uh, fighter look at this thing that is sweet it's an all it's like pretty much an all red one this is an s class uh it's a 194 the sleep of madness dude red and yellow dude the fighters are so cool looking sometimes i wish they were they were like better you know like in terms of like i mean that's pretty good though i wish they had like really max stats though like max slots and stuff red yellow and silver that's awesome see this is like the cool thing about coming looking for these things because every time i go and i tr i try to find something you know try to find a unique like ship or something like that i always find other interesting looking ones that are totally worth like your time to come and get if you're interested in in those ones so uh and here's another one coming in i don't know if that what that one is but yeah yeah so i gotta do this reload trick here and see if we can get a squid to show up it's kind of an all it's kind of a black one it looks like or like kind of like a purplish looking color it's like a yeah it's kind of like a brownish purple with a tan outline sweet whoa look at this thing it's like a neon yellow crazy dude there's so many you the, all the fighters are so unique i'm gonna say this right now they have to be the most unique things ships in game by far the color schemes and everything yellow and orange dang dude that's this is a sweet sweet system for interesting fighters ah finally there it is it's it took a long time man many 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 reloads oh and another one mito maze conqueror look at that thing dude there's the red squid though we found it took long enough and we got another exotic showing up at the exact same time look at that thing though hold on photo mode let's go dude the red squid is awesome looking i have a green one but i kind of want i kind of want a red one now look at this thing wow yeah so that that oh it's as far as i can go i forgot about that uh yeah so that took quite a long time for these for that thing to show up but there it is right there so now you know for sure all right here are the cords to the last uh well not the not the last there's actually another one where i'm going to show you that's got a bunch of different s class stuff tons and tons of stuff uh but these are the cords to the green squid ship if you're interested in coming here to try to get a green one all right so this last location comes from a person on our discord server and they posted this this image right here this is unbelievable in one location he found two S type haulers, right? There's a winged one and a bald one. We've got a 1955 34, 1955 34. So those are the exact same. We've got an S class explorer. I think that's what that is, right? An explorer. And uh, that's a 0, 22, and 53. And then we also have a orange or gold looking exotic, 49, 55, 59. And so all in this one location, 04A5, 0083, 0E1D, 0148, there are three different S-class ships and then an exotic. This is a great location to come to if you're looking to like expand your fleet in one go. Uh, so that's going to be it for the video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys are having a great day. Things are going well in your life. Stay positive. Be blessed. Catch you guys next time.